Uh, hi, I'm uh, John Umbeck, uh, Professor of Economics at the uh, Cranert School of Management. I'll be teaching the economics portion of your course, Law and Economics. Uh, to give you a brief introduction and uh, some idea of what we'll be doing in the course, economists usually start their theorizing process by making the assumption that uh, people are greedy. Uh, now, in your other economics courses, you might have called it utility maximization or profit maximization, but basically the assumption tells us that all people would like to have more than they currently have. Now, this creates an interesting problem. When you put all these people who want more than they have on a planet with a finite number of resources, you're going to have scarcity. In other words, you're not going to get, in your lifetime, everything that you want. And we're all like this. Now, this creates a second interesting problem, and that is conflict. As you and I compete for those scarce resources, not all of us are going to get what we want. So ultimately, our behavior is going to be directed by a set of rules. Rules that we adopt, various rules across different societies, you might call them laws, you might call them regulations, rules. We have different names for them. But until you understand the rules of the game, the rules under which this conflict is going to be resolved, you can't really understand human behavior. And so in economics, in fact it used to be called until recently political economy, because economists recognize you can't separate economics from the law. You have to understand the rules that direct our behavior. So my part of this course, the economics portion, can be broken down into basically three different parts. First part will be a review, a series of review lectures that I created to present you or remind you of the economic principles that we use and that we'll be using in this course. The second part of my section in the course will be to examine what economics has to say about the creation of laws, where they come from, how they'll be structured. And the third part of my section in the course will be to study certain laws and examine how economics allows us to predict the behavior that results from these laws. So let me introduce you next to uh, Cliff Fisher. He's professor of law here, and he'll be teaching the other portion, the law portion of this course. I'm Cliff Fisher, as Professor M. Beck just mentioned. I'm a clinical professor here at Cranert School of Management. I'm in the management department, not the economics department like um, Professor M. Beck. So what I'm dealing with is the legal aspect of how the laws, meaning the rules, regulations, policies, impact society, and most all of our laws, regulations, policies, are based on economic principles. So what we're trying to do in this law and economics course is let you see the economic issues and how those move into legal issues, how the legal issues sometimes require certain economic applications. My background um, is a lawyer. I've worked in management. I have also have an undergraduate degree in business and a minor in economics. So the economic principles always have fascinated me to see why people do particular things. And, just as you already heard, built on legal issues, those rules that people are trying to comply with. Within this course, we'll talk about the contract issue, the agreement. We'll talk about property issues. We'll also talk about criminal legal issues along with many others. To me, a course like this is really exciting because I get to see what a very renowned instructor in economics, how he applies particular principles to the legal environment. So it's exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for you.